fellow vapors and welcome to the devil vapor vape reviews today we've got five flavors from chemistry liquid science that is the sample box that it come in um yeah so they've got 10 flavors in their full range and what they pride themselves on is absolute bloody transparency um with their stuff so you can go on their website these are your 50 mil nick shot varieties or short fill bottles so you can go on their website i'll do it here while we're here you can go into your flavors right you can go into your flavors he says you can go into your flavors and then you can view the product test results now as these are nick free they don't need to go through um you know all the screening and whatnot but they have actually done this they've sent this to the west yorkshire analytical services um, and they give you the full particle, whatever it is, um, analyzed for undesirable compounds by gas chromatograph chromatography mass spectrometry uh, with the results as under. Um, so that is absolutely great. So they've got 10 flavors in the range. I'm going to be reviewing five today, and they are spiced apple pie, king cassis, peach cobbler and cream, watermelon caramel, and strawberry custard compote now down below will be timestamps and um, so do click on them if you want to go to an individual flavor if not sit back relax and watch the whole review so yeah they do come in the 60 mil bottle so you've got 50 mil of nicotine free e-liquid you can purchase your nicotine shot separately so you've got 10 mil of 18 milligram which will make this uh, around about three milligrams in total but i'm using the 10 mil um, sample bottles for review today and those are for myself so we're going to start off with spiced apple pie hopefully we're going to have that come up underneath here spiced apple pie we're vaping it on the watofo nudge on top of the aspire sky star mod at 60 watts and a 0.4 ohm build and um, so let's see what it tastes like Straight away, I'm getting like a um, like an apple sauce flavor. You know, like the jars of apple sauce. That is what I'm getting straight away. It's sweet. You've got a light hint of cinnamon floating along in the background, which isn't too overpowering. I'm normally quite put off by cinnamon flavors. Um, but this one is very nicely balanced. Very, very nicely balanced. You're also getting like a light pastry flavor in the background. So it's got all the components there of an apple pie, which is blooming good. It says it's a spiced apple pie. It is an apple pie with cinnamon. Cloud production is all right. These are, I think they're 8020 um, VGPG. I'll just double check. Uh, did, 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 did. Yeah, 8020 VGPG. So that's pretty good as well. Cloud production is quite good. So right, that's a nice flavor. No complaints with it. It meets the actual standards of what it says it is. So we're going to go on to the next flavor, which is King Cassis. So I'm going to rewick, redrip, and I will see you in a sec. Right, so we are back with King Cassis. So we're going to take that for a toot and see what it tastes like. Right. Straight away, I'm getting black currant and licorice. Excuse me, as I've just got a cough. So yeah, black currant and licorice. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat today. Black currant and licorice at the moment. Also, a little bit of... Kind of like a mentholated freshness. That is nice. The black currant is nice and fruity and rounded. Um, you know, like the licorice is kind of combining very well with the menthol. It kind of brings a... Um, uh, kind of like a, a liqueur kind of alcoholic sense to it. What is it? Like bloody, um, what is that? Zambuca. It tastes like kind of like a zambuca -iness in there. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Um, years ago, my mum used to drink 
Perno and Black, which is Perno and Blackcurrant, um, you know, that Schweppes stuff. It tastes exactly like that, but with like a nice icy freshness. So like you've got ice cubes in there. So, you know, that is very nice. It's very nostalgic for me as well. The the smells kind of replicate it. The taste replicates it as well because I have drunk it before. Um, so yeah, that is a lovely, lovely flavor. Um, I'm quite glad I actually asked for this in the big bottles as well because that's going to become a bit of an all-day vape for me um, over the next couple of days or weeks. We shall see. So next up we have peach, cobbler and cream. So I'm going to re-wick, re-drip and I'll see you in a sec. Right next up we have peach, cobbler and cream. So let's take that for a two. Right. Straight away I'm getting like a warm baked sensation, kind of like a sponge. I don't even know what a cobbler is, in all honesty. Um, but I'm getting like a warm kind of bankness with this um, e-liquid straight away. It's sweet. I think the wattage is going to need to be taken up a bit. I'm going to put it up to 66. Yeah. It's nice. I'm not getting a massive amount of peach, so I'm going to re-drip and close down the airflow a little bit. There we go. There's the peach. The wattage combined with the airflow being closed down has brought that flavour out a lot more. It's not overly prominent, the peach. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's probably about 30, 40% peach, I would say. You've got a nice bit of bakery in there and you've probably got a bit of like creaminess floating in the background as well. A nice flavour. But the peach could be done with turning up a little bit, in my personal opinion. So next up, we have watermelon caramel. So I'm going to re-wick, re-drip, and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so next up, we have watermelon caramel. Let's take that for a two. Right. Now I'm getting like a, a salted caramel in here. If you've ever tried salted caramel before, it's kind of like sweetness, but you've got like that saltiness cutting through the sweetness a little bit. Um, it tastes like that. I, I have this Tony's Chocoloni stuff, um, which is a Dutch chocolate. And you know, the, the caramel in there is a salted caramel. It, it, it's just a different type of caramel. It kind of uh, like twists things up a bit. But the watermelon as well, this is again floating in the background. I would have expected it to be a bit more prominent in this flavour. Um, you can taste the watermelon in there, but it just seems to be floating around in the back rather than in the foreground, um, combining with that salted caramel um, rather nicely. A nice flavour. Not my best or not my favourite from the flavours I've tried so far. Um, but yeah, there's nothing distasteful about it. I just think the watermelon could be knocked up a few touches um, just to suit my flavour preferences. So last but not least, we have strawberry custard compote. So I'm going to re-wick, re-drip and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so we are back with strawberry custard compote. So let's take that for a two and see what it tastes like. Right, straight away it is thick and dense and creamy, so I presume that is the custard portion of this flavour. Um, let's see if we can find that strawberry in there as well. There's sweetness, there's a little bit of sharpness in there. You've got like the berries going on. It is a strawberry. It's more in the aftertaste though. Now I'm, you know, exhaling it and tasting it afterwards. The strawberry seems to be more in the aftertaste. So let's put that back on. Getting a little bit of a dry hit there. A 
now I've re-dripped and that strawberry flavour has come out a lot more. Um, it seems to be more in the foreground now um, compared to previously when it was kind of in the background in the aftertaste. A nice flavour, a nice little twist um, to your normal strawberry flavours. It's nice to have strawberries and custard rather than strawberries and cream or a basic strawberry. So this one's a nice little touch and a little nod to the strawberry flavour world out there. Not too shabby at all. <clears throat> so, what do I think to these first fl five flavours from Chemistry Liquid Science? Now, my firm favourite will be King Cassis, um, which was very, very nice indeed. It was like a black currant and like a, a cherry kind of um, perno mixture kind of thing. Very, very nice indeed, and I'm glad I've got 60ml of that to tide me through the time. So, yeah, very, very nice. The others, um, spiced apple pie was very nice. I think peach cobbler and cream and watermelon caramel could have done with turning up a few notches on the peach and the watermelon um, that's just to suit my personal taste but overall a very solid five um, e-liquids there now please don't forget there'll be a part two out it will be up on my youtube channel very very soon but overall a a nice five flavors from chemistry and you know i respect them for having complete transparency with what they put in their e-liquids um you can find all the information on their website which is chemistryvape.com links will be down below so please click on that if you wish to know more i'm not too sure on the prices at present but hopefully they'll be released very very soon so right, I'd like to thank the people at Chemistry Liquid Science for sending this through for the purpose of review as well as this t-shirt and a little, um, what's it called, a battery box thingy, what are they called, charger thing, can't remember what they're called, and a lovely tote bag as well, it is greatly appreciated. I've been the Devil Vapor and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.